Hey guys, Gal Level here. And as you all know by now, I don't have the best internet in the world, but I still live stream and I still upload content to YouTube. So today I'm gonna show you the settings that I use in Streamlabs OBS, which will probably be applicable to OBS Studio in order to stream with slow internet. So we're gonna run a speed test to show you how slow my internet actually is to give you exact numbers now if you know me you know that i don't like making excuses to not be able to to broadcast to be a streamer um one of the excuses i heard a lot is my internet is slow so i can't be a streamer well if i use that excuse i wouldn't be where i am today so let's uh just click go now obviously depending on where you are in the world you might have the same internet connection as i do you might have worse so that's my download speed right there and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my upload speed. So there you go. I basically peak at 12 megabits when it comes to download speed, but I'm usually at 0.8 max upload speed. So now I'm going to open up uh, Streamlabs OBS and we're going to check out the settings that I use to stream with that type of connection. Okay, so we're here in Streamlabs OBS. This is my Be Right Back screen. And I'm going to go to settings up here. It's the little cogwheel thing. So the first key to getting a good connection is to make sure that you're on the right server. So whatever is closest to you is what you want to pick. So we're going to click on stream here, it's the second option. Um, and here in server, instead of having it automatic, I am going to actually pick the right server. Now I already have Paris because that's where I live. So whatever server you find in the list that's going to be the closest to you is absolutely what you want to pick. Automatic usually does the job, but I've had times where it connected me to Germany and stuff like that. So better be safe by picking the right server. So now we're going to click on output. For the output mode, you want to be in advance or get all the options. For encoder, I'm actually going to put uh, software times 264. It's basically the best encoder. We're going to keep those boxes unchecked. For the bitrate control, you need to choose a CBR. CBR is content, constant bitrate uh, as opposed to variable bitrate. And it's basically going to keep your bitrate from going all over the place. Now for the bitrate, there are multiple ways to calculate it. Usually people tell you to find your peak upload speed and then multiply that by a thousand. For us, as you saw, it was um, 0.8 megabit second. So we would have a uh, bit rate of uh, 800 here but to be on the safe side i usually keep it between 500 and 700 so use custom buffer size we're gonna check that and that's basically something else that people calculate with the maximum upload speed that you can get in our case it is uh 800 you also multiply by a thousand so it's 800 keyframe interval we're gonna keep that at zero because that makes it automatic and now for cpu usage preset it really depends on your cpu but usually the sweet spot is on fast no matter what cpu you have profile we're gonna select main and then the rest is uh the rest should be fine here you have recording but that's a completely different topic i guess so now we're gonna go to video okay base canvas resolution is the size of your monitor the, the the way you see stuff on your computer mine is a full hd so that's um 1080p basically 1920 by 1080 and the output scaled resolution is what you're gonna be streaming at so you don't want that to be 1080p because well you have slow internet so you can't stream at 1080p otherwise you will drop frames like crazy what is usually recommended if you have less than one megabit second upload speed is to stream at 480p basically it's going to be 852 by 480. i got away by streaming at 540 but i've been recently dropping frames so i'm gonna go back to 480. for the downscale filter i like sharpened scaling but if you if your internet is really really bad i'd advise you to go with bilinear because it's faster fps type you're gonna keep it on uh, common fps values and you will choose uh, 30 fps if your internet is really 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 bad you can also go to 24 fps there at this point there won't really be a huge difference between 24 and 30 um if your if your resolution is already as low as 480p now we're gonna finalize everything by clicking on advanced for process priority i like to keep it above normal um, and then under video nv12 for the color format for the yuv color space you want to go with 709 that gives you better color color range you want that to be full and you want to have checked 
force GPU as render device. Now for stream delay, I've been getting away with it for a while without having it enable, but I'm gonna have to enable it now. But I'm gonna try to keep it a minimum. I do have low latency activated on my Twitch account. So we'll see how that works. And I'm gonna uncheck preserve cutoff point and automatically reconnect, you want that enabled. If ever like there's a drop on your internet, it will reconnect you automatically. Now there is something else that happens with OBS, with Streamlabs OBS, is that they upload your overlays to a cloud. Every file, every time you add a new source, basically, they try to save it so that you can access all of your files from, like you can have your stream on any other computer you connect on. So we need to find the option to not back it up basically because that uses your internet and it's right there if you click on scene collection right here you'll see the option do not back up my media files in the cloud requires app restart and once you have that tick you restart your app it will not up upload your files to, to the cloud basically so it will not use your internet if you're having internet issues and you think this might be happening it usually appears here you'll see a little icon of the cloud at the bottom left so that's a way to know if streamlabs is currently uploading something or not and there you go we can click done now okay so that's pretty much how i get away with streaming with such low internet speed if you have more explanation more in-depth explanation onto any specific options i would love to hear him so type them in the comment section below and if you also have little tips and tricks to get away with streaming with a low internet connection with a slow internet connection i would also love to read about them in the comment section below um, from the time being i will put some social media up there and uh, if you guys don't have streamlabs obs yet i encourage you to download it um, you can download it from a link an affiliate link that's going to be in the description if you download it from there for free i will actually get a little bit of money and charity will also get a little bit of money if you're looking for overlays to make your stream look good you can go to gumroad.com slash get level we have a bunch of free ones and the rest is just cheap i'm talking very very cheap if you would like for me to take a look at your channel and tell you what i think we actually have a whole show for that that happens every friday at 9 p.m cet that is paris time basically people come and chat they give me their handles and i go on their twitch channels and i give them my first impression and then i give them tips and tricks to make it better if if need be but that's it for today's video guys thank you so so much for watching i will see you guys next time get level out